Hey everyone, I'm the Taylorette and I will be working on this dress. Now the hem actually has lace at the bottom and I don't want to cut the lace so I'm going to be showing you how I preserve that design at the bottom of the hem without chopping it off. Alright, train all up there. There's a lot of weight in this train here. Okay, so the great thing about this is I actually got her measurement from shoulder to hem. I also got how much needs to be cut off. So I have both of those measurements to kind of balance each other out and make sure I got things right. It is very cloudy out today, so I decided to use a yellow measuring tape to kind of brighten up my day. It, she is 56 inches from shoulder to floor, and this is 60, so we need to kind of bring this down just a little bit. Measure one more time, or two more times, we'll see. So yeah, now that I have that measured, according to my notes, it needs to be shortened five inches from the front, from the tip of the scallop back. So that is about five inches, which the measurements line up a little bit, which is usually how it is because the mannequin's proportions are a little bit different. So I'm pleased with my matching up measurements. Alrighty, so here's the deal. It needs to be shortened right here. However, I'm only going to shorten the front piece. I'm not going to do the back of the train because that would be insane. So, and it's not necessary because the train is supposed to be long anyway. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where exactly do I want to shorten it and then taper it off. So I'm seeing this corner right here is good, this right here, and I'm going to match it on the other side. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's this scallop here. I haven't mentioned this, but I'm going to remove the lace and shift it up. So because the lace is basted on here, I'm going to have to take a seam ripper and take it out and then shift it up and stitch it back on because I don't want to cut the lace. So I'm going to shorten it about right here so she can have some space to walk around and move. And then we'll have to do the under layers, which will be fun. And these are not hemmed. These are netting so they can just be cut. This is the only thing that right here that will have to be hemmed correctly. So I have my handy little seam ripper and I'm going to go to town on this thing and just take out from this little scallop here and I'm going to take my time and listen to some podcasts and then we're on to the next step. Had to turn some light on because I can't see anything without any light in here. So sorry about the orange toned lighting, but I needed something to be able to see. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but I did separate these two pieces here. Here's the, the actual tooling and then here's the, the lace right here. And basically what I'm planning on doing is shifting the lace up so that it makes the front shorter because it was down here. So that will be my next step. So to make this next step a little easier, I'm going to pull the mannequin down a little bit so that I can have some extra space for it to lie down so I can position this flat on the table without it floating too high. So here I am taking the lace that I took off. It's completely detached. So now that this is laying flat in front, I'm going to start with the front center front piece first so that I can have everything lined up really nice here and I'm basically just shifting it up five inches. So I'm not sure if you can tell but I'm basically repositioning or almost in a way redesigning the lace down below I'm overriding this guy right here because there's just no place for it. If I move it up, it's going to look really weird. So because I pushed this up quite a bit, I'll actually be trimming this under, under part and getting rid of this extra lace down here because it's just going to look weird if I don't. So I'm going to pin this in place like so. And then I'll basically repin these guys around here 
And now that I have that in place, it'll be a little bit more apparent, the design on that, once I trim this guy down below here. Um, and then shift this around. So this is the edge of the, the netting here. And this is where I started seam ripping it. And I'm basically, it goes on a curve and it turns. And here's how much I shortened it or brought it up, whatever you call it. And I'll be working on pinning this in place so I can trim it. And here I'm stitching down the lace, stitching only on the white pieces of the lace where it needs to be secured around the edges. I don't go up and down in the crevices, just around the edges to make sure that it's secure. So now I'm about to trim the under layers. There's two layers of netting or a type of tooling. And then there's this layer, which is the official lining of the dress that will need more detailed hemming. But for now, I'm going to work on the front here of the netting. Here I just proceeded to finish the base layer. I didn't go into detail on this but it's done. And we have this nice drape comes, it's, her toes can kick out in the front and then now it still comes to a train in the back without her tripping on. So that concludes this video on hemming. Now, if you would like to see more of my creations, I'm not only gonna be altering dresses, but I will be creating historical dresses have a few ideas so stay tuned like this video and hit the subscribe button